welcome back everybody I hope everybody's doing well I hope everybody's having a great summer I surely am I'm doing my first fifth scale build it's been awesome man in it I'm gonna remember this summer for years to come that's all I can say it's one of my favorite things man and fifth scale I have to say it's right it's my thing basically well, I, I click with it man innit? I, I enjoy this stuff and so often in life we forget to look after ourselves you know we forget to do things for ourselves it's just nice once in a while to do something that you enjoy man and when you enjoy something and you do it you know you have fun and when you have fun it puts a smile on your face man and when you're smiling you're happy so I think everybody should do it man innit? I think everybody should have their own hobbies I think everybody should have their own time alright where you go off and you just do your thing man do you understand what I'm saying so that said in today's episode we'll be finishing off the engine um, last week obviously I couldn't finish it you know I always run over man in it but that's the thing it's a good thing taking your time enjoying the build getting to know your components it's a good thing man you know and this should be enjoyable you shouldn't rush it it's not like you go get it done in one day and go run it okay it's not like that it shouldn't be like that you know it takes takes the fun away all right if you take your time and enjoy the build that's a whole different experience do you understand so i actually enjoy doing this the build like putting everything together that's why i didn't go for a ready to run that's why i went for a parts kit you know it was a headache getting everything but now it's here man and it's really rewarding so i think everybody should try that man at least once in their lifetime doing a kit from scratch buying every single nut and bolt you know it's a different experience anyway so today we're gonna finish off the engine um, it's gonna be a bit of a long one today because I'm gonna do the outerwares alright for the outerwear for the pull starter outerwear for the crankcase alright so that's gonna be a long process I'm gonna try to shorten it down much as possible so you guys don't get bored and what I forgot last time was to give you guys the part number I need to get start doing that more often man and I forget but this is obviously a dynamite kill switch it's DYNE1240 okay so if anybody's interested that's the part number for that and I forgot to give this beautiful clutch tool part number from RC models once again big shout out to RC models for supporting the fifth scalers man in it so the part number is RCM001 W46 all right so check them out brilliant company okay so the next thing I wanted to mention was this roller tape here this is basically a um, header wrap for engines um, you can get them in many colors um, but the most popular ones are silver and gold however this one is a little bit different it's a bit more expensive it's the self adhesive one so basically it's just like duct tape basically sticky on the back of this so I will be wrapping my header and I'll be wrapping the exhaust as well I did get the 50 mil one alright so obviously it's gonna make it a bit easier on the bigger bits however if I need to I can cut down straight down the middle because it's not stuck on together if I show you guys but I'll just put this piece of tape there to keep together alright so it's like that it's got back in as well so I can cut it up nicely to the perfect length that I need so it's just gonna make you know wrapping this a little bit easier you know it's got a lot of funky bends in it and it's got this ribbed bit as well so I'm gonna chop it in chop it straight down the middle and that should make life a bit easier all right so let's get started so what we're gonna do we're gonna start with the outwards first I think that's gonna be the most finicky job get that done and then we can move on to this exhaust header Alright everyone, I had to break out the Dremel, okay, it's so we can roughen up the engine surfaces where the outerwear is going to go, alright, for the Velcro to stick down a bit better, you know, I don't want it to come off, if it comes off, there's no point having the outerwear there in the first place, alright, so I'm going to do my best, try to do a good job on this, alright, so this is the outerwear I'm going with, alright, part number, two zero two nine one five zero one 
but I haven't heard of this before. But it comes. No, nobody's ever mentioned it. But it says it on here. It comes with the TerraFlow technology. Maximum airflow deflects debris, extends filter life, and protects motors. So, oh yeah, whatever. The, no, nobody's ever mentioned that, man. But yeah, I like that. That's cool, man. All right, so that's the part number for that. All right, it comes with Velcro. Obviously, you get the outerwear and get stickers cool man thanks that always for providing some stickers man i love stickers who doesn't like stickers who's this is this that way <laughs> anyway you get stickers with that and because i got mine from ddm i think they give you a little instructions as well how to put it on here you go that's really nice of them man provide this you know most stuff you don't get anything but look it tells you where to put the velcro it shows you which gaps to get which way to go around so that's really cool of them man for them to do that that's excellent let's turn over the page all right so basically this is how it's supposed to look once you're done so that's really nice of them man thumbs up ddm man for providing stuff like this man you don't hardly get anything nowadays with a manual that actually you can use so that's really nice of them this should come in handy i'm going to read this properly all right so let's um start prepping this engine for the hour everyone so I finished dribbling everything down everything looks nice and smooth and clean now it's time for the alcohol get a brand new microfiber cloth and get cleaning basically all right so I'm gonna clean this thoroughly and then we can move on okay so I'm gonna start with the hardest job first is to do this bit this awkward bit here. So, I'm going to come from 
here like that. Okay, there's a little piece that needs to go here. Okay, so for this bit, I will be using some super glue just to make sure because it's got hardly any space here, you know, sticking on. So these two bits here, I'm going to use glue and here as well. Get our super glue. Get my velcro, align it. There you go, that's where I want it. Just there. And just hold it basically. Okay, really get them into the corners, all right? So the better you do this, the less dust and debris is gonna get inside. So just take your time, make sure everything's aligned, and just push everything down. Okay, that's pretty much there. Okay. All right, so let's do this bit here. Again, just a bit of glue to start off. So just like before, we'll super glue to start off with. Just, so just finish this guy off. Okay, little change of plan. Just gonna put a small piece on here. like that okay we'll chop this bit off and we're done all right everyone so the big boy is done 
let's start on this pull start basically rough this up a little bit all the way around right so get a dremel Okay, so next job is to clean it up and we can put the velcro on. Hi everyone, so this has been nicely cleaned up. Alright, that's the outerwear I'm going to put on. Okay, but this came with its own velcro. I hope it's decent and not crappy. We shall see. Let's get this open. Here we go. Sorry about the noise everyone. There's builders outside man. They're building a new block of flats. So it's just making bare noise. My apologies. Okay, so I don't know where to start from. But start from the bottom. We'll finish at the bottom as well. Get some glue to start off. Stretch it out. Oh, perfect. Just enough to go around. Alright. Yeah. Let's just chop this guy off. Alright, so there's my pull start. All nicely done. I don't know if I should put. I should be alright. Okay, so the next job is just to put this guy on. Okay, so the first things first. I don't want to lose this. If this goes in all the way, if you, if you like take this knot out and then the wire goes all the way in, you're stuck. So let's just. Secure this first somehow. This should be good enough. There we go. That's fine. So that's been held by that. Let's just. Okay, here we go. Undo this knot. Okay. Okay. This one done. So 
handle off thread the rope through your outerwear like that okay let's put this back on as soon as possible there we go redo your knot That's about it. Make sure it's tight. Okay. Let's bang this back in. Hopefully it fits in now. Ooh. Don't like that. Let's put it in like that and put it through. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> That's much better. I like this rope, man. This rope's got some sort of coating on it. I like it. Okay, and that should be it, really. Okay, let's see how this is. So let's reposition this somehow. Okay. This is how this goes. Get that in place first. Okay. Finally, at this go. Right, I've been complete putting this on. It's a little bit tight, everyone. You see, it's a tiny bit tight. Because obviously this outerwear wasn't made for this pull starter, so can't really complain. I'm just lucky it's a little bit tight. What if it didn't fit on completely, you know? Waste of money, but I got lucky. Okay. Here you go. Here's the finished product. It's not looking half bad, man. I have to say, it's looking cool. That does. That looks really nice, man. I have to say. Okay, this looks cool. All right, so let's do the engine out of way. We'll cut this off. it's just the part number get rid of that okay so goes like that and there work your way around Just do this bit. Perfect. There we go. Nicely done. This bit in. Alright everyone, so here we go. Outwears are on. Okay, that's this side, that's the bottom. That's how it looks from the bottom. Perfect. 
so just before I go I'd like to thank all my subscribers you guys are awesome thanks for all the support and if you're new here make sure you subscribe I've got tons of videos like this coming up once again thank you everybody for watching and I'll speak to you guys next time take care Thank you.